And the day has finally arrived. Our bags are packed and we have farewelled our families. It has been a whole year of anticipation and two months of incredibly hard work. And now we are on our way. In six days time, we, the Chamber Choir, will be performing Paul Milo's Requiem, The Souls of the Righteous, in Carnegie Hall. Two hours in, 11 hours to go. <laughs> So today is our first proper day in New York. Oh. Um, we just had breakfast and there's a lot of food. <laughs> there's donuts, bagels, cereals, pancakes, eggs, like literally anything you can think of. I went ice skating. I only fell over once and I'm basically a pro now. So um, we just met the cast of Phantom of the Opera. They are, they are absolutely amazing. Like, just watch Thumbs up. Oh. Good. If you ever go to New York, you need to come see Phantom. This is amazing. the 9th of November, Friday the 9th of November, and today is a pretty big, exciting day. Um, we have our first rehearsal. Music is not a dead art, it's a living art. It only exists at the point of performance, and so it requires everybody involved in it. Please welcome the St. Columba Anglican School Chamber Choir. When we decided to put on this big performance of the Requiem to, to, to mark the 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 end of the First World War, it was in the back of my mind that we would try and include as many people from as many countries as we could so that this would be a true world celebration of what was an epic moment in world history. And as it's turned out, we've been able to do that. That's, that's exactly what I'm about. I can still have 10% more. Wow, he's, he's really down to earth, like such a down to earth guy, much, much nicer and just so chill. So much more chill than I ever thought he would be. Like. Anybody to perform in Carnegie Hall is probably one of the most life-changing things that happens to you. I mean, it's one of the greatest halls in the world, if not the greatest. So a chance to be able to sing on that platform where Frank Sinatra sang quite famously, New York, New York, um, I think is an astonishing thing. I think once I step out on that stage and, you know, see the audience looking straight back at me and all the other guys, I think I'll be completely amazed and overwhelmed. And that's when it will really hit me that, you know, I'm in New York, and performing on one of the most famous stages in the whole world and yeah. I think with any choir singing a piece that lasts 40 minutes is keeping concentration. I have no doubt everyone can sing this, there's no question about that. The question is can we keep the focus and concentration for 40 minutes um, and that's our challenge. Yeah. 